Well, I was sitting in the training mode, checking for possible anomalies related to the next mobile suit to cover, a thought came to my mind. In my folly, I had not made anything for the people new to fighting games as a whole. While Gundam vs. differs from the conventional fighting games in various aspects, a lot of the essentials stay the same. So why not start with one of the banes of scrubs, aside from blocking and projectiles? That's right, I'm covering the combos in the various Gundam vs. games, as well as some of the moves that require their dedicated sets of inputs. First three installments span from Federation vs. Zeon to Gundam vs. Zeta Gundam for the PS2. These have simplified the combos by making the attack input either a standard melee, which is done by a triangle, or special melee, which is done by R2. Based on a set of actions performed right before one of the two main melee inputs, you can perform different attacks. Think of it as having the attack variations from Street Fighter, like crouching, standing and jumping kick. These actions essentially boil down to doing either of the inputs midair, after a boost step and the various combinations of these two. It's incredibly simple, but at the same time you can use the added variety to your advantage. However, it mostly depends on what unit you're playing as, because not all units in the roster have a unique move for each input combination. In terms of combos, all follow-ups are done by tapping the standard melee button. While the system was bare bones, it was sufficient for spicing up the combat close-up. By the way, the only directional melee attack is the rocket punch of the Psycho Gundam Mark II, but that one just involves holding forward during the melee input. In the Cosmic Era entries from 2005 and 2006, the melee attacks and combos have been reworked, significantly influencing the later titles as well. Both in the Omni vs Zeft and Rango vs Zeft 2 Plus games, the melee combat now featured a simplified form of motion inputs. Another great addition for the melee was the fact that you could use the melee attacks in the mobile armor mode or the now added boost dash. In terms of combos, these two games featured both the simpler melee button tapping and the more conventional combos with directional inputs. Once again, this differs from unit to unit. Let's begin with the neutral melee, which is a melee attack without movement inputs. It comes out slower than the other variants, its combos require more hits and it packs more of a punch. With the forward input, the melee attacks become faster, increase in reach and push the unit forward. It's good for poking at the enemies and intercepting some moves, but missing it is very risky. As for the side inputs, they start slower than front melee, but are fast enough for swift but short counterattacks. One of the coolest things about side melee is that it curves, allowing you to dodge point blank attacks before landing a strike. Some units also allow you to make use of the backwards melee or execute special melee moves while boost dashing. These vary from unit to unit, so I'll be covering those on a case by case basis. There's special melee just like in the previous games too. The PSP generation was very similar in this regard, so I won't be repeating myself for the sake of brevity. All I need to add is that there's more combos now. Starting with the PS3 generation, the Extreme vs franchise made its way to consoles and introduced the non-arcade audience to the modern crossover roster. These installments made combos much flashier and engaging with the addition of ranged attacks into the combos as well as the fact that now every unit had their signature moves and combat styles depicted very well. Fortunately for the newcomers, the inputs for the simpler combos are shared between units, so you always have a way to use melee attacks effectively while learning how to master the unit. I suppose that has been all for this video about combos and melee variety in the Gundam vs games. So here you go, your go-to for general combo info. I'm off to get some rest. So for the time being, apologies for the delays. I've been trying to do three projects at once and it kind of backfired on me in the nastiest way possible. So thank you for your patience. Shirtlight, signing out.